Praise Jesus. God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. This is my channel, Preaching Jesus Ministry. Um, oh, before, I, uh, I'm going to talk about what's the um, upcoming event. What I'm going to do tomorrow. Praise Jesus. Um, but before I do, I want to read 2 Timothy uh, chapter 4, uh, verse 5. He says, but watch thou in all things, and do affliction, do the work of an evangelist, make full proof of the ministry. Um, Second Timoteo, chapter 4, versículo 5. Pero tú, se sobrio en todo, soporta las aflicciones, haz obra de evangelista. Cumple tu ministerio. Ahora voy a brincar en el libro de Efesios. 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 Está por acá atrás. Está por aquí, por aquí, por aquí. Está por aquí. Aquí, aquí, por el lío. Oh, right here. Chapter 6. It says here. Um. Chapter 6, verse um, 15. It says, And your feet showed with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Uh, say, versículo 15, Y calzados los pies con el apresto de evangelio de la paz. Pero, no voy a predicar. Bueno. Responde, hermano Irvi Feliciano Jr. Uh, este es mi canal, Preaching Jesus Ministry. Um, bueno, mañana, tomorrow, um, I'm getting, meeting up with a couple of brothers at 3 o'clock in Tampa. Um, for the glory of God, we're going to go over there, preach the gospel to an event that's happening over there. Just giving you a heads up on that. It's going to be at the Buck Stadium, I think. But I'm really excited. I'm going to get my equipment ready. I'm going to get my stuff, my banner, my gospel tracks. A couple of stuff ready to go preach the good news, the gospel of Jesus, the gospel, the preparation of the gospel of peace, the good news, the gospel. Jesus Christ died, buried, resurrected from the dead. And for the, the sin of... Uh, of Romans, this is Romans of the was but they verse two that he died for the law, sin, and death. If I'm not mistaken, Romans of the eight. And, um, but yeah, that's what we got to preach about. The Bible says, Him we preach, warning every man, teaching every man, and all things, right? And they just cry out, spare not, lift your voice over the trumpet. And we got to go out and warn people of their sin and not have their blood in our hands. So we got to go and preach the gospel. Jesus Christ said, go and preach the gospel. Go out to the four corners of the earth. To the outermost part of the world. Preach the gospel of Jesus. Preach of the kingdom of heaven. Is that hand. John the Baptist said it. Jesus Christ said it. All the apostles said it. We have to do the gospel. Preach it. Whether be here by yourself or the multitude of people, but always be guided by the Holy Spirit. The Bible said that God, the Holy Spirit, um, the Holy Spirit is the one to convict the world of sin, righteousness, and judgment. He's the one that we must follow. The Holy Spirit composed to our day. He's the one to, how you call it, we must uh, follow. And He guides us to our truth, the Bible says. So, because uh, the, the Word of God goes on and every time before and accomplishes His will. But, you know, we have to be, let the Holy Spirit take over. Let the one, the Holy Spirit do his things. But, um, so tomorrow I'll be, I'm going to be going live. I know it's a little late doing this video, but I just want to give you a quick update. Um, I'll be preaching over there in Tampa, uh, fellowshipping with them. I'll be over there for a while and, um, with my brothers in Christ. Um, keep me in your prayer, um, and uh, us, keep us in prayer, not just me, because um, a group of us going, so keep all of us in prayers. I think we got wild in the church, wild, wild in the church in the wilderness, um, then we got wild less travel, those are 
channels that are going to be over there. Some will be on Facebook. But we all got to be over there spreading the gospel. I want to labor with them. And it's not, you know, one of the things where we got to, you know, shake that off of being scared. Shake that off of being nervous. Um, does it get nervous? Of course. Uno pone nervioso. Uno pone, eso va a llegar. Um, eso llega. You know, cuando voy para allá por fuera a predicar, but, uh, you know, you got to be, you know, alert. Claro, sabe, persecución viene, hay gente que va a decir la palabra, gente que te tira agua, hace toda cosa contra ti. Pero no te bochones de evangelio, el poder de Dios. Eh, como yo leí en el um, segundo último tres, capítulo 4, versículo um, 6, si no me equivoco. Sobre um, soporte de la aflicción, no, no sé, eh, antes de ser, tengo que ver versículo 4 o 5 por ahí. En capítulo 4. Pero dice que um, soporta la aflicción y puesto tú sabes, de, de evangelio a ser completa el ministerio. The full ministry of the gospel evangelist, evangelio, evangelista. Um, uh, ser completo el ministerio de evangelista llevando la palabra en todo lugar. No solamente en la iglesia pero en todo lugar. Dios lo bendiga a toda la iglesia también. O sea, es un privilegio cuando predican en los atares, cuando los pastores te llaman, es un privilegio. Y es un bendición cuando caen gracia eh, 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 con ellos. Uh, yo no estoy diciendo nada malo. Um, es bueno aplicar la iglesia porque la iglesia también necesita palabra. Pero una diferencia, una diferencia. Y yo soy un profesor que yo temo Y, y tengo mucho respeto a los atares. De verdad, si yo son, de, si yo son del Señor. Y que va de acuerdo a la palabra. Um, but es un privilegio, es un blessing. Um, preaching in the, in the altars and the churches. I'm not saying nothing gets done, but we got to come out the four walls. And take the gospel to the street. Put it, push back the darkness. The Bible said, redeem the time for the days of evil. So we got to... Bring the light into this dark world. The Bible said that the, the, the word of God is a lamp unto my feet. and a, is a lamp unto my feet and a light to my path. So we got to bring that lamp to them. We got to bring that light, the word of God, the good news for them to open their eyes and see the reality of the world around us heading towards destruction, heading towards death. The Bible says this way that looks right into a man's eyes but leads to hell. So we got to bring them to the narrow path. Oh, I got a little flag. Hey, guy. I killed it. I'm going to play with a bug. So we got to bring the gospel to them. We got to tell them the narrow path. Pick up the cross. Deny yourself. Pick up the cross and follow me. Jesus said, it's the narrow path that's going to lead you to eternal life. So Jesus Christ love you all. Don't be embarrassed. Don't be ashamed to say, oh, by the way, he says unborn, but I don't, let me just go up a little bit. He says unborn lives matter. It's going to look kind of funny because the angle of the camera um, face towards me, the screen. I don't know how to put it, but it says unborn lives matter. This is what I'll be used. At this, 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 uh, Renacido, renacido, vida, it matters, matters, es um, uh, es importante, la, lo, lo renacido, los bebés, que no son, so, renacido, la vida de los renacidos, se importa, um, este es el cambio que voy a usar allá. Um, it brings a, it brings a strong message because they life matters. But tomorrow I'll be in Tampa. I'm gonna be going live, probably like around three thirty, three thirty, four, through, somewhere through there, setting up. Got my speed booker and everything, getting ready to take the gospel, the good news of Jesus. Um, y cuando regreso, I might be preaching again Monday. Perhaps um, when I come back, but we're gonna be. I told you, I'm going forward with this. I'm not holding back. 
There's another one. Weird. So, God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Keep fighting the good fight of faith. Um, thank you for looking at the videos and see you soon, okay? Preach the gospel. Jesus, love you, bro. Love you, man. God bless. <laughs>